How's it going ladies and gentlemen? My name is John with John Trucking Outdoors where we will be doing camping and cooking and fishing. So today we are going to be heading over to Walmart to sleep in their parking lot as you probably saw in the title of this video. So I am going to head off there and be able to cook up some food in the back of the truck and recently you probably saw my last video with me getting my truck set up in the back and getting those extra cooking items. I'm going to go over to Walmart and cook up a delicious meal and spend the night in there at the Walmart parking lot. So we are going to head to the back of this parking lot, but we're going to take it first a scope of the parking lot so we can see where's the best place. Yeah, see there's even a semi truck over there. So someone else is camping out for the night here as well. Finally at Walmart. Should be enough there. I'm gonna grab this pillow. Couple containers. This is my camping setup. Well, I'm here now at the Walmart parking lot, so I'm gonna hop in the back of my truck and take an eye around the place and make sure no one's watching so no one realize I'm back here. We'll hop in quickly. Get this back door shut. Well, I'll definitely be grabbing earplugs before I go to sleep here. The car's alarm sound just went off. It was quite loud and there's a street right here as you guys can see. The one cool thing about parking here in Walmart is that there's surveillance pretty much 24 seven off the front and I'm pretty much parked directly in front of the Walmart sign between the two doors. So I'm definitely in their surveillance. So with this glass not being tinted on the back, I definitely need to get a curtain for there. There's even a person right there. Recently, you probably saw that video. If you haven't, it's my last video, and feel free to check that out. I would absolutely love it if you guys would take a look at that, but that was just my uh, truck setup. I have one smoke alarm, one carbon monoxide alarm. I think these need to go up before I turn on this burner. That's why I like having that uh, gap through here and through the truck so I can grab my pair of scissors inside the truck. Also additionally, if anyone breaks into the main cab, uh, I'm pretty certain I would hear that, having a big old gap right there. Probably okay, that was loud. But hey, it's working now. It's blinking as well. So tonight I'm going to cook up some uh, Alfredo noodles. Dumping about a teaspoon of, I mean a tablespoon of butter, as well as a bag I put some uh, milk in, about half a cup of milk called for. Now I'm going to judge about a cup and a half of water. Probably a cup. And a half, that's probably good right there. There we go. We got fire. We got fire. So, we're getting that uh, pot boiling now. Butter's melting currently. This is a cool little Coleman stove. It's not the fancy type that has the igniter right here you do have to use a match to start it up so I know the ones that do have that igniter button they were about $112 and this was only $49 so I think that's well worth it it's certainly a lot bigger than the last stove I was cooking on it will be perfect for catch cleaning cooks with fish as well as cooking up meals Oh, 
that was this. Just a little closer look on what it was. But it smells amazing. I am cooking up uh, some water here. I'm starting to do a little bit of bubbling because I am going to go cook up some uh, broccoli. I'm certainly not going to eat the whole bag. Certainly wouldn't even try to do that. As well as that delicious Alfredo. So that water is just not boiling, so we're gonna pour some of this broccoli in there. Let's see that. So I finally got that uh broccoli steaming. You might see that steam coming off the top and it was boiling a little while ago. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that burner down. That's up. That's down. I'm going to cook it on low for about five to seven minutes and then I will pull it off. And that is certainly looking good. Cheesy Alfredo. So here's my truck camping setup. I'm ready to go eat a plate of delicious broccoli and the Alfredo cheese. It's still pretty warm, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this plate of food you just saw me cook up. Broccoli's cooked quite well, as well as the noodles, and they're still warm. People are revving their engines. Well, I just finished devouring that plate of food. It was quite delicious and I was extremely hungry. So, I'm going to probably run into Walmart and use the bathroom for the last time this evening. I probably do want to find either a curtain or that reflective material to put on this back window here since it is clear and there's not a single amount of tint. See this window here? There's no tint at all. So if I turn off this light here, everyone outside can see my light coming inside and anyone, you know, both ways. Yep, I'm good. This is my favorite candy in the entire world. He Probably what I need. Let me grab one of these again. This should cover both windows. Helicopter's just now heading out. You may be able to see his lights over there. He's just pulling on out. So I went ahead and I installed these black uh, covers. They have Velcro on it. You can see right there, Velcro strips, got those covered. They certainly block out the light. I'm just about ready to head off to bed now, so good night. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Well, good morning everyone. I think it's about 8.07 in the morning. I think it was 4 in the morning a train was going past and that helicopter kept me up late last night as well as uh, there are people coming in here and just revving their engines and like doing burnouts around here so I'm gonna probably get up and grab a uh, I picked up some yogurt from Walmart uh, last night, which I'm going to go ahead and eat that for breakfast. Keep it simple and light. I hope you guys have been enjoying this video so far. Well, I just got dressed and I'm ready to hop out of this truck. I want to be more stealthy so people don't realize that I'm living in. There was a bunch of campers and uh, camper trailers and semi trucks parked all around here, so it is pretty common. I did have to throw in earplugs because
because there was people making noise all around last night. So. Raven Engines, Helicopter, I had a whole world of adventure, so it was an awesome experience. And I'm finally glad I got the setup correct and ready for doing this in the future as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hop out. Side door. Over here at the Walmart parking lot. Hey, what's up, everyone? Now in the truck, going to eat some yogurt. It's a beautiful day out here. It's about 57 degrees out right now. So I'll just share with you guys, one of the reasons why I wanted to start up a YouTube channel as well as uh, document my life on the road or truck camping or fishing or hunting or doing everything outdoors or having fun is there's a youtuber on uh youtube his name is mav and as well as the channel name is mav m-a-v and he documents his life as truck camping and i've been watching him for the last two two and a half years so i'm gonna leave his link in the description below this video and he has just inspired me through just his truck camping and fishing and everything else and adventuring out and I love that lifestyle and I certainly would love to do that in the future. I would highly recommend you guys go check out his channel and seeing his truck camping set up as well. It's pretty awesome. I'm a little jealous. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. And if you are, throw up a like under the video, subscribe, comment. If you guys have any future ideas with what you want me to do, tell me in the comments. I'd love to, if I see anything that's fitting t towards my channel or where I want to go, I'm going to go ahead and camp out there, stealth camp. It's hard stealth camp with a topper that's this tall in my truck. But yeah, I'll go camp out at different parking lots and... I'm going to keep on throwing out fishing content. I've just been a bit busy recently. I do work for a pest control company full time out here, so I just have to plan my trips out on the weekends. Well, this is going to end off this uh, episode here. Camping from the Walmart parking lot back there. So. I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for tuning in to this episode. Well, until I see you next time, keep on truck camping.